what I really enjoy is the switch between the light settings and that gives me the edge, especially in challenging situations. Where do you see the greatest benefit for the color adjustable light source? Lots of competitors on the market are really um, working with that. I see in the future that it might be interesting for digitalization and visual and enhanced visualization. Um, there might be a good point for that. But right now in my everyday practice, the, the most important point is just that you are able to, to switch the light source in your foot pedal without looking away, without um, taking the instruments out of the eye or without losing focus by telling your nurse to switch the light setting. So this is, this is really, um, this is gold. Kai, you have provided us with a video of the color adjustable light source. Can you take us on the journey? Why do you decide to change the color of the light source? All right, let's um, let's just run the video. It's it's a really really quick one. So that's a patient case of a PVR detachment, and it has attractive apparatus and membrane, and I always do um, peeling in those cases. Now what you can see here is a peeling after I put in ILM uh, uh, dual blue, um, and I try to peel under PFCL. Um, I always find peeling under PFCL a bit more challenging because the visual acuity or the, the visualization isn't that well. Now, if you look at the picture, you see that I'm not really making progress there. Um, and now I just task start to change the light setting and you will see um, that once the light setting changes, you will see the, the edge of the area that I've already peeled. You will see it a bit clearer for a second. Now see how the light changes and see how the edge of the peeling area gets a bit clearer. And once I catch this visualization and the part where the area ends, where I've peeled or not, this image is is kind of freezed into my brain and it's safe there. And once you see this area and the edge of the membrane, you cannot unsee it. And this gives you an immediate orientation. And afterwards, the peeling in a, in a very challenging situation becomes a lot easier. Um, therefore, I've, I've made quite a, quite a habit out of this that um, in challenging cases or even in standard cases where I'm not sure about visualization where the edge of the peeled area is or not, I just quickly change the, um, the light settings with my foot switch. Um, as you see here, I don't have to really remove the instruments from the eye or change anything. The, the light mm -hmm. just changes like that and I can do it deliberately. And this just gives me the extra security to see, um, to see where we are with the peeling area. So this is, um, this is my, my favorite, well, at the moment, this is my most favorite um, innovation um, in the foot switch. How Does this feature help you during an operation in the posterior segment? Oh, that's a good question because there's a lot of, lot of discussion that we have about different, um, different wavelengths of light giving you the edge of visualization, this structure, that structure, this and this and this. For me, what is most important is just the fact that you can switch the light um, deliberately on your own. And this is the most important feature. Because this sudden change within the light settings just makes structures sometimes in this change makes them a bit clearer. And then, as I said before, once you see a structure that you want to operate on, once you've seen it, it's hard to unsee it. And I always use this, well, there is this image on the internet of the cigar that is stuck into a wall. And once you realize that the cigar is there, and maybe we can, we can fade it in later. Once you realize that the cigar is there, you cannot unsee the cigar. And this is exactly why this changing in the light settings is so important for me because once I use the light settings to only quickly visualize structure and once I know it's there, I don't forget that. So that's really excellent.